What is up everybody? In this video we are taking a look at these, the brand new Skechers Max Road 5. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. How are we all doing people? Let me know in the comments and why you're down there. Have I converted you to sketches yet? Let me know. I've been banging on about sketches on this channel for what seems an eternity now. Hopefully I've converted at least one of you. Let me know if it's you that I've converted and which shoe did you go for? Or maybe you've already got a pair of these and let me know how you're getting on with them. So this is the Max Road 5. This is the sort of highly cushioned Max stack height daily training from Sketches. They've made some updates to it. They've added some cool stuff on it, but is it any good? Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Right, so let's get the stats and features done before we do anything else. Uh, we've got a big stack height of 38 in the heel. It's got a six mil drop. Uh, we've got the hyperburst, full length hyperburst midsole in this, which is tuned a little bit softer. Uh, for the Max Road 5. Uh, Hyperburst is nitrogen infused midsole, so that's the way they cook it up um, with the EVA, uh, the process they use for it. So it's like, got like, almost like bubbles in it. So it's just nice and airy and lighter. We've got a brand new upper on there. They got rid of sort of the knit feel upper and we've got this brand new mesh upper, engineered mesh, 3D overlays. Uh, the tongue is not gusseted, but I haven't had any problems in terms of the way it lays on the top of my foot. We've got Goodyear rubber on the outside with the pods, uh, which obviously uh, saves weight by not having one big lump of um, hyperburst. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Fit, true to, si true to size, this is UK nine and a half. No problems in terms of fit, loads of room in the toe box and loads of height as well. So that's good news and you don't seem to get the, um, the curving like some of the Skechers shoes can rub a little bit if you're not used to them. Um, but this is no problem with that. The other big thing in this shoe versus the four and the four plus is we've got a H plate, um, carbon infused plate in this. So it's sort of that look to it, if that makes any sense, probably not. Uh, but there's a plate in there, carbon infused plate. Now what that is looking for is to help you in terms of stability, but also in terms of the toe off and the transition that combined with the M strike is giving you a really nice heel to toe transition um 130 pounds here in the uk just over nine ounces for my uk nine and a half and that is about that so this is a max cushioned offering from sketches uh, think glycerine think triumph think clifton uh, for your daily trainers but max cushioned uh, recovery runs easy pace runs Long runs, but only if you like a max cushion shoe on your long runs. I don't, um, but that may be something that you, you look towards, so you know, super comfortable. Um, but something you can probably pick the pace up a little bit in, daily trainer work and that sort of arena. Um, it's interesting they put the plate in it. It's definitely added some stability, I would say. It does feel nice and stable. I think the, some of that comes from the width of the shoe. Kind of reminds me a bit of the Asics Gel Nimbus Lite 2. Um, but I've not noticed the, the plate in terms of sort of propulsion, if I'm just going along normally, where I kind of noticed it, and this might seem a bit odd, is going up the hill. Um, let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. If you've got a pair of these, I, if, where I've done some sort of hill work in some of those runs, and it's where I live is flat, so I do notice it when I do go up the hills. Can I try and put a hill or two into my... Um, Rot uh, rotation into my weekly runs as best I can, but it's really flat where I live. But I have noticed it on this shoe versus say a Clifton 8, which I've been running in recently. Um, also, I think, and maybe it's in my imagination in terms of the um, roll from heel to toe, it, de it definitely does feel a little bit more springy off the toe as well, uh, when I have sort of gone up through the paces a little bit. But I say I've been mainly using this for recovery runs, easy pace runs, and it has felt effortless. The Hyperburst midsole is so good on this shoe. Um, they've definitely made it a little bit softer um, versus some of the other Skechers shoes out there. And it's just that really nice balance between 
<laughs> this is gonna sound silly, but hard and soft. It, it's just the right blend they've got here. It really is, considering the stack height, say 38 in the, in the heel, it's high, people, that is high, but it's, you don't collapse, you don't feel unstable, and you don't feel like you're wandering around. It's got a lot of, it gives you a lot of confidence to just run steady in it. Um, with no sort of movement. It really is a great, great shoe for those easy miles. And I think at, at the biggest compliment I can give it really is at 130 pounds, and it probably will end up cheaper because you'll be able to get some discount codes. I think you should be looking here more than like the Clifton 8. Now I like the Clifton 8, but actually for me, this just feels a little bit better tuned up and yeah, I don't know, the lightness of it, nine ounces, it's banging line with daily trainers out there. I don't know, there's just something about it, maybe because it's a Skechers. Um, but it just feels great. Um, I've chewed up some of the <laughs> hyperburst already down the canal and towpaths, but yeah, I think that's, it, it, maybe that's one concern about it in terms of durability. But if you are looking for a max cushion daily trainer, I, I would seriously look at the um, Max Row 5. It's available on the Sketches website. I'm not paid by Sketches, by the way. They did send me the shoe, but I'm not um, paid by Sketches. Um, but it just, I think, I just think it offers something different out there. And there's a lot of still reservations about Sketches shoes, but this is a great, great shoe to Max Row 5, people. If you are looking for a, for a Max Cushion Daily Trainer, check it out. There's a lot to be said for it. I really do think that. And I think the improvements they've made, especially, you know, with getting rid of that knit upper, which was really hot, and putting that H-plate in there, adding the stability to, uh, to the great um, hyperburst compound that they've got in this shoe. Yeah, it's, it's a really great offering. Really, really good sort of alternative to your sort of usual Max Cushion Daily Trainers.